Tawny and Jimmy. So cool to meet you guys. Congratulations on Space Force. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Tawny, um, how did you find out you got the part and what was your reaction? Oh, how did I find out? I mean, mm. I think a boring story. My reps just called me and I think I was obviously so excited. Um, it had been like three or four auditions and callbacks and, you know, graduating levels of who you get to meet in the callbacks. One day it's just the lovely Allison Jones, then maybe it's Greg Daniels, then we get uh, Steve Carell and uh, our director, Paul King. And I, yeah, I mean, I was ecstatic. I was overjoyed. <laughs> and then, Jimmy, your first day on set, um, oh, you're man. working with John Malkovich, Steve Carell. What yeah. I want to know is how do you sleep the night before that? Uh, I try the best I could. I think I might have <laughs> had to take a Xanax or something. <laughs> but, you know, of course you're nervous and excited. You know, the, 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 one of the best comedic actors out there, one of the best actor period out there. Um, but they make you feel so comfortable. They're just honestly, honestly, the nicest, most professional people. And then once the camera starts rolling, you just, you know, you just acting with your scene partners, which I can't even believe I'm saying. And then in between the takes, uh, when you're sitting on the chair, I think Tanya was there that day too. Uh, oh, your first day. Yeah, we were in the yeah, desert. In the desert. Uh, I think the challenge <laughs> with that was uh, the wind blowing on my hair. I think one of the takes, my hair was like this. And then, <laughs> and then you cut back and my hair is like this. But I think <laughs> you, just, you just worry about acting at that point. Um, but yeah, even sitting down in the chair, they just, we just started chatting just about everyday little small mm -hmm. talk stuff because you're just so nice. And I'm sure... Uh, they just trying to make us younger actors feel comfortable also. And, and, and they yeah. just, yeah. Well, Tawny, these guys go from being like these big names that you've looked up to, to your scene partners, and then your mates. Um, usually at a time like this, you love junkets because you get to catch up with people again. But unfortunately, that can't happen. It's great that, you know, we can be in each other's houses. But <laughs> tell me about um, the Zoom happy hour. That happened Ooh. with the space. You caught win of that. Oh, I did. I did. I want to more. The space ha space force happy hour. Um, I think I don't know how we decided to do it, but me and Jimmy and Ben Schwartz were on a little thread, and then me and mm -hmm. Diana were texting separately, and I think we were all like, we should just like have a beverage and hang out, and I think everyone was a little like should we invite John and, you know, Greg and Don Lay? Like, should we, you know, yeah. the kind of like parents? <laughs> a little yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we did. And um, I am proud to say that uh, I think I, I kind of taught John Malkovich how to use Zoom. So that they were all <laughs> feather in my cap. He's very tech savvy, but he just hadn't had the opportunity to use the platform. So I was like, okay, you want to click share video? Okay, set your preferences. <laughs> John that is was so great. For me. <laughs> and he tells some great stories, just like he does oh, in real yeah. life on Zoom. And it makes it so interesting. And now he's all about uh, Zoom happy hour now. He, he's asking us, it's like, yo, let's do one next week or whatever. He, he's the gonna, greatest that's guy. That's going to be a regular thing. I think I so. Think, I think so. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, yeah. talking about great guys, um, everybody says that Steve Carell is one of the nicest guys mm -hmm. you'd ever meet. But, Jimmy, you took it one step further and you said, I wish – he was my dad. Um, what is Did it? Did I say that? I, yeah. I, 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 and I, it's not even a newspaper quote. I actually saw you say it. And I was thinking, what is it about Steve? And how did your actual dad feel about that? Did you hack into our Zoom or something? How do you know I'm saying these things? We know Zoom is spying on us. No, I mean, Steve is not just, I wish he's my dad, but he's like America's dad. I think he's yeah. so sweet and nice and attentive. Uh, not saying my dad is none of those things, but my dad is kind of, <laughs> you know, my dad's a funny dude. He's kind of like a ball buster. But, you know, um, when your dad's a ball buster to his son, that sometimes might not come out as well. <laughs> but he's a lovely man. And uh, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if there's a little spoiler alert, but uh, my dad might be in that little episode of Space yeah. Force. Tell me about that because um, I know my parents yeah. are sort of the same. They're not great at giving out compliments. So when something happens, I go, well, if you can do it, this must be really easy. So you get a recurring <laughs> role in Silicon Valley. He goes, instead of oh, saying God. congratulations, he goes, get me an agent. And then he's on Space Force. He went through a whole arc uh, on my acting career. At first, he was like, <laughs> I hope this is just a phase. Here, I'm sending you some careerbuilder.com emails. Like, go get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he saw me being pretty successful in Silicon Valley, he completely skipped a step. Like there's a nice in-between step of like, 
hey, you know, congratulations, son. I'm so proud of you. He skipped that yeah. step. So went from super unapproving to like, hey, it's so easy. You can do it. I can do it. So I was like, yeah. sure, I'll sign you on my agent. And and luckily, he was a, actually a very good actor. So uh, <laughs> just naturally. So I've been kind of now playing his agent and uh, hooking him up with some jobs. And he did a tremendous job on Space Force. And it was very fun the day he was on set. I think everybody loved him. Yeah, and Tony, what about you? Because, you know, when you do go into a career like this, family are just like, what are you doing? But then you just go, I'm not just acting, though. I've got a successful podcast. I'm also into my music. <laughs> How do your family react to that? Oh, Tony's dad is the best. Oh, uh, yeah. My dad is probably kind of similar to Jimmy's dad. I mean, my dad has always been really supportive of me doing this, but he's also always been like, and I can do this, too. Um, <laughs> uh so yeah, they, both of my parents have been very supportive. They're both not arts people, um, but they are, yeah, they're just supportive of it and interested in it. And I think me spreading out my energy and doing so many things was really because of, you know, acting not working out right away. I started in Chicago where the on-camera work was just less and different and harder to get. And so I think I was just like, okay, I'm gonna be in bands. I'm gonna do this audio stuff. I'm gonna do podcasts just to try and like cobble together a living. And then I kept the parts of it that I really loved um, when I moved out here to LA. And uh, yeah, I think my parents are proud of my resourcefulness, <laughs> if I had to guess, because I never stopped doing something um, yeah. just to try and make something work. But yeah, my dad's a full maniac. I can't let him onto a set. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, now that he knows that Jimmy's dad has been in Space Force. I'm hoping there's a Space Force 2. Can you confirm that? And will your dad be a part of it? We hope so. We don't know. I mean, everything's so uncertain with like when anything can film again. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's interesting. I don't know if my dad would come on. It'd have to be a very small... <laughs> the good thing about Jimmy's dad's role is that it took place in one space. I would be nervous about letting, giving my dad like free reign over a set. Like I think you need to lock him into place, give him his things to say, and then let's get out of there before he, I don't know what he would do. Well, I reckon your parents should let you do your own thing because you're doing fabulously. Thank you so much for Space Force and for giving up your time to chat to us today. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you.